Hello lovely fragrance lovers. I have another unboxing today uh, for you. Very excited. It's a big box so I'm expecting there's at least two perfumes in here. Uh, here we go. Okay, receipt. So this one's from All Beauty. And <gasps> it's finally here. Fancy from Jessica Simpson. Woohoo! I've heard so much about this perfume. Um, I eventually bought it after like the fifth YouTube I'd been watching talked about this perfume. <laughs> okay, let's see what else is in there. A lot of solid packaging. <gasps> it's a VIP private show from Britney. So this is my second Britney buy. Okay, and that's it. No free samples. <laughs> okay, so let's open uh, this one. So, I got this one because I really liked uh, the Britney Midnight Fantasy. No, not Midnight Fantasy. Fantasy. Oh, my days. The cellophone on perfume is so hard to get off, but... This is such a lovely box. I love the colors on this box. Oh, I also really like Britney Spears' music. I've been trying to teach my kids classic music by making them listen to Britney Spears. So, oh, look at that. I'm getting VIP vibes already. Oh, the lid just came off. Okay. What a nice bottle. Beautiful bottle. I'm in love with this bottle already. I don't even care if the perfume is that good. I love the bottle. It's like a multifaceted diamond. Huh, awesome. Okay, now fancy. I have so many high expectations for this. Uh, because I've just heard good things about it. And most people who talk about it. They've had nothing but fantastic, fantastic reviews. Right? I'm also liking the pinkishiness of it. So I got all of these on All Beauty. And they do super fast postage and packaging. I love, love them for that. <gasps> Look at that. <gasps> oh. Oh, I love the bottle. I love the bottle love the bottle let's try them shall we i'm going to start off with britney spears vip private show i was interested in this number one because the price point looked really good number two i really liked britney spears fantasy in the pink bottle and i thought instead of trying midnight fantasy straight away i was going to go try something a little bit different outside of the fantasy range and when I read the notes profile, it definitely got me really quite interested in it. And the notes are supposed to be mango. Mango is one of my favorite fruits. So I thought, oh, I would love to have a perfume that has mango in it. And it's got blood orange, red apple. The middle notes are violet, orange blossom and magnolia. I'm a little bit worried about the magnolia because my neighbor has a magnolia tree. It's not my favorite scent. And then the base notes are raspberry, amber, woody notes, and musk. So I expect to have a musk because it's got a luxe feel to it. Right, let's try it out. Mm. Okay, off the top I'm getting like some burnt sugar vibes. There's a soft fruitiness here. Mm -mm. Very sweet. Right, let's uh, spray it. Oh, I like the atomizer. It's got good control. Oh, my days, my days. Very, very florally. Mmm. Oh, but the, the fruitiness isn't very sharp. It's like a really lovely softy fruitiness to it. It's very beautiful. 
Mm. Oh, I'm getting some strong summer spring vibes from it. I think that this is something immediately right now. I'm smelling it. I'm thinking of spring and summer. Uh, I gotta say, it smells nothing like the bubblegum poppiness of the Britney Spears fantasy, which is really interesting. This sort of reminds me of one of the other florally perfumes that I've tried before, definitely, that are more expensive than this. Wow. It's very, very sweet. I just, I can't put my hands on where I've smelt it before. It's not unique. I don't think that it's super, super unique. It's a very lovely, beautiful smell. And I feel like I've smelled this somewhere else. And I'm super happy that I'm getting this on this price range. Okay, some musk is beginning to come through. Like a dry musk. Mm -mm. I love it. I, I'm keen to try this. I might almost say that this might be love at first sniff, especially with the price as well. I'll be back soon to comment on this after I've tried it on my skin and I can talk about the longevity. Let's move on to Jessica Simpson. We have here Jessica Simpson Fancy and I have heard about this from so many perfume YouTubers. I'm quite excited to try it and see if it lives up to um, the name. So I picked this up. I love the bottle. The bottle has got such a wonderful vintage vibe to it. So elegant, so classy. And let's see. Oh, look at that. So cute. And mm. so the top notes for this, it's supposed to be pear, apricot and red berries. The middle notes are supposed to be caramel, almond, gardenia, jasmine. And the base notes are supposed to be vanilla, amber and sandalwood. I'm quite partial to vanilla and sandalwood. So far, that much is very clear. I love caramel. I love to make caramel. I occasionally love to eat caramel when I'm not being keto. And I love it. So, oh, wow. Very soft, beautifully florally. But subtle. Subtle is not sort of um, in your face, right? Let's spray it out and let's see what this smells like. Okay. Hmm. Okay. A little bit slightly synthetic -y. And when I say synthetic, I mean um, it sort of reminds me of uh, sprays that come out of an aerosol can. Just a little bit. Very sweet and quite sharp. I'm getting a very sharp uh, tinge to my nose. Okay. It's a little bit rich, but not quite as rich as, say, the Rebel Fleur. If I have to be perfectly honest, I'm struggling to pick any of the notes out. I know it's supposed to have pear and red berry in it, but I'm not uh, getting it. Hmm. It's not quite as intense as I hoped it would be. However, it's not too bad. I will try it. I'll definitely try it on my skin. Because I've had experiences where the initial uh, impression of the perfume wasn't all that great, but when I've tried it on my skin, it's been amazing, so I'm still going to try it. And I do really love the bottle. I love the bottle enough to really want to make this work. Um, the good thing is that it's not a repulsive perfume on me. And if it performs really well, that should make a big difference because I kind of think I like perfumes that I don't have to reapply. Also because I don't have time to. I've got five kids, so life is pretty busy <laughs> like that. Um, but yeah, overall... Not bad. Um, so that's two new additions 
to my little growing uh, perfume collection, VIP Britney Spears and Jessica Simpson. And I remember the 90s. I was around. I was into pop music. And I remember Jessica Simpson. And I remember Britney Spears. Although Viva La Britney Spears. Britney Spears was obviously the OG, the most amazing one. Um, so it's kind of nice that I'm rounding up to discovering the fragrances that I should have discovered decades ago. But I wasn't into perfumes. I only discovered perfumes this past month and I'm 40 years old. So there you go. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be liking these perfumes, but I like them and I'm definitely going to be wearing them. Loved this one. Heck of a lot more than this, but I haven't given up on this yet. It's It's got some interesting um, things going on with it and I'm definitely going to be trying it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you subscribe and you uh, hit that like button. And you can uh, join me during this uh, fragrance madness where I've just discovered perfumes and I'm in love and I have taken to perfumes like a soft drug and I just love them. I think about perfumes all the time. I'm collecting perfumes. I'm reading about perfumes. I'm learning about perfumes. So if that's your jam, subscribe and I'll see you next time. I will be reporting back with how these performed on my skin and what the longevity was like. But I love these. I love them.